I'm gonna do a few stretches with me. Sights me why am I always so happy and have a doubt? And why I'm always laughing and how they never seem to catch me with a frown. Some may think it's not real, I know now I feel this a show. Wow. 
Welcome back to day six of the 21 day mind, body, and soul reset. So earlier you saw the stretching going on. So that's what we're going to talk about concerning our body. What are the benefits of stretching? Stretching elongates the muscles. It relaxes. No, it releases tension from the body. It lowers the stress level. And we need all of that when we talk about resetting our mind, body, and soul. And that's the body aspect um, for day six. Um, I want to talk about when you get out of the bed and get ready to stretch first thing in the morning. Like the song is talking about. When you get out of, the, out of bed in the morning time, don't just rush out the bed. They say that the Chinese get out of the bed slowly. They take their time. They... they they let their legs fall out. They let the, the they just get up slowly. One vertebrae at a time, one part of the body at a time. They sit before they go on about their day. So we need to stretch our body in the morning time, stretch our body after a bath, and definitely stretch after we get an aggressive workout. Okay. And the other part I want to talk about today is about the importance of learning how to journal. Okay? Okay. Journaling, journaling, journaling. We talked about stretching for the body. And now we're going to talk about journaling for our soul. Journaling. Why journaling? Why journaling? When you journal, you putting your thoughts on paper. Uh, when you journal, you don't even, you don't need to just do that type of journaling where, well, let me, we don't need to do that type of journaling where we just talk about our problems, which is good because we can get counsel that way through, if we invite the Holy Spirit in during that time. But um, we need to also have a gratitude journal where we, where we write down what we want to see, where we are being thankful for what we have. Um a positive journal because when you write something down you you know that 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 uh that scripture write the vision and make it plain so what you want to see you need to put it on paper so make sure you're declaring in paper form what you want to see just like we talked about earlier what we speak we need to speak what we want to see so when we journal, we write down what we want to see so we we write and focus on the positive stuff what am I thankful for I thank you for my house, for my health, for for my family, just all things you thankful for. You can say at the end of the day, you can say what was your um, what were you grateful for about that day. So we need to have a gratitude journal where we keep up with the things that we are thankful for, the things that we have, our, our testimonies, our victories, the positive stuff. And you can even write your goal. You have a goal journal where you write down what your goals are. Um, and yeah, that should be a separate journal. So, so that's the part about journaling. Journaling. Okay, another thing about journaling is when you journal, you can unpack your emotions. That's the counseling part of journaling that I was saying earlier, where you just let your feelings out. You let your emotions out. You process it. A lot of times we have stuff bottled up inside of us and we never let it out. But when we write it out, that's another way of processing it. So let's say you had something horrible that happened in your life and you can't come to terms with it. Start journaling and it's going to come to surface. And look, don't worry about trying to make sense out of your journaling while you're doing it because because it's a mess. If it's a if it's a lot of issues in your tissue box, it's going to look a mess. It's not going to be organized. So if you got a little OCD and you don't, you don't, don't let that bother you when you're journaling because it is a mess sometimes, but it needs to come up so it can come out so that, you know, God can deal with it. We, because if we don't deal with what's bothering us, it's going to be dealing with us one way or the other. It's going to show up in, you know, as I said earlier, in cardiovascular disease and in other aspects of other areas in our physical body. So we need to journal to cleanse our soul from all this stuff that's in there. Sometimes stuff will come back from 
man, years ago, or something may happen, it might trigger something. Write it down. Oh, and we also need to have a dream journal. That's a whole nother story there. But um, but whenever that, that those trigger points come and something something trigger a memory, write it down and ask God to show you. Say, God, what is that? What is that right there? What's at the root of that right there? And how can I get free? How can I get healed? How can I get reset? Okay. So I can go journaling is a whole subject in and of itself. So I'm just going to, I'm just giving just little tidbits just to wet our appetite. So I did the body and I did the soul because we talked about journaling. And now I want to do the thoughts because I was talking about journaling and now on the thoughts part, the mind part, well, mind, body. So now on the mind part, I want to talk about the thought aspect as far as like the R, R, R method. R, R, R method. R stands for recognize, resist, and replace. I'm talking about those negative thoughts that come to your mind, those toxic thoughts that come to your mind, those thoughts that make you want to do something. You ain't got no business thoughts coming to your mind. You got to recognize them and resist them and repent. And you need to replace them. We need to replace them with the positive, healthy, life-bringing thoughts. Every thought that you think, it don't come from you. You have influences from TV, from social media, from people you done had conversation with down throughout the day, down throughout your life. There's so many different ways that we are influenced. So every thought that comes to us is not us. So that's why we got to take it through the filter. And the filter is called prayer and the word of God. Uh, and we need to recognize first where did this thought originate? Because some stuff be coming from like, like where in the world did that come from? You know, I be thinking like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So recognize every thought that comes to your mind, you didn't you didn't originate. Sometimes the enemy is trying to send send uh, traps into our lives. So he real sneaky and strategic. Sometimes you can, even if you, sometimes you in your subconscious sometimes when you wide awake he he can't he can't send messages but sometimes he'll wait till you sleep and he'll try to send suggestions through some of your dreams so that's why i said we need to have a dream journal but like i said that's a whole nother story but back to this rrr we need to recognize who sent that thought and if the thought did not come from a healthy place we need to resist that thought resist no Mm -mm. we need to reject that thought and we need to replace it with something that's more conducive to where we're trying to go in life y'all i'm gonna cut this off so it won't go much longer but if you want a little more about that just let me know um and i'm gonna end with a word of prayer heavenly father as we bring day six to our mind body and soul reset to a close god i want to ask you to come into our thought life and establish our thoughts, Lord. We welcome you into every aspect of our life. We welcome you to our mind. We welcome you into our body. Cleanse us, God, from every childhood hurt, from every heartbreak, from every grief, from every embarrassment, from every wound, Lord God. And I ask you to close that entry place in our lives and cause us to reset. And to have a connection with you. Help us to process everything that we've ever gone through. And bring us out into a healthy, bountiful place. Knowing that it's your desire for us to prosper. God, we just ask you right now to just, just to strengthen us in every weak area. And cause us to be a better version of ourselves for your glory. In Jesus' name I pray and I thank you. So keep going with, with this mind, body, and soul reset. And I hope to see you next time. And remember to like this video, to subscribe to my channel. 
for more videos like this.